So here's what's happening in Zimbabwe at the moment. The Zimbabwean president pardons over 4,000 prisoners ahead of elections. Amongst these prisoners released are rapists to rape children, and some of these people have not even served half their sentence for that offense. There's a video of a man who was also released under the... Hi guys, welcome to my bed, my couch, my everything. Welcome to my channel, I'm just joking. I hope you're good, I hope you're well. And this is the brand new channel of Bantu Women. We've upgraded and here we are here. We are here guys, we are here. The upgradation of the upgrader. <laughs> but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you so much. With that said, we're going to talk about our neighboring country, Zimbabwe. And uh, yeah, things are happening. Things are happening in Zimbabwe. But before we get into that, I just want us to just watch the full video and then... So, here's what's happening in Zimbabwe at the moment. The Zimbabwean president pardons over 4,000 prisoners ahead of elections. Amongst these prisoners released are rapists to rape children, and some of these people have not even served half their sentence for that offense. There's a video of a man who was also released under the presidential pardon who clearly states that he raped a nine-year-old and was released after only saving one year. <laughs> This man clearly raped a nine-year-old and has been released after only seven one year and chances are he's going back to the same community where that child might still be residing in and I can only imagine the trauma that child is going to go through. Which also takes us back to a man who was recently arrested for also marrying a 10-year-old. Check this out. 65-year-old marrying a 10 and there you have it folks you know i was on a live the other day and um it was on a tiktok and um i think the guy's account is undercover africa i'm not sure but um i remember also mentioning that uh, zimbabwe has the capability of solving its problems much better than we are <laughs> much better than south africans can actually and I don't think for the most part I used to say that they don't need help. But I'm gonna correct myself there. I feel like we all do need help. You know, we also need help here. But also, it goes to also show that we as people have too much going on with our problems personally and in our countries to even notice anything else other than ourselves and our own problems that we've been consumed of our own misery basically what is happening in zimbabwe is terrible but it's not however i don't want to use but i don't like it however it it's also happening here prisons are full in south africa and with prisons being full being filled being full it's cool with prisons being full, then people can go to prison. So they are pardoning people. They don't tell us this. So because they're saying, oh, well, but well, prisons are overpopulated. So what do we do? Do we crowd them? So they pardon people with lesser sentences. So um, I hope, I hope that this thing has changed because there's no, there's no prison spaces because also the population of people are growing. So I guess what's the solution you're gonna build more prisons you know so um yeah yeah so also i feel like it's a problem that our nations need to work on but i just wanted to raise awareness on zimbabwe and um of what is happening there and the best thing i could ever do is use my voice as a black woman living in africa so Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye.